Okay YouTube, I'm back with another update video. And in this video here I show you that um, I've upgraded my mount. Um, you know, I've changed it to be more sturdy. And I've also upgraded my panels. I've replaced the other panels. Um, and the reason being is I, when I came out one morning, uh, a couple of, well, yesterday morning as a matter of fact, I looked at the panel and, uh, you know, it was a homemade panel and I saw where in my uh, areas where they have some air pockets and so forth, uh, I saw a whole bunch of moisture all over the panel uh, and, you know, with uh, where the uh, cells were. And at that point, I just kind of made up my mind to, you know, go with a commercial panel, um, you know, for, you know, ideally because this thing is going to last, you know, it's warrantied for 25 years. This is a Renogy, another Renogy 250 watt panel. Um, it's tied to my uh, grid tie inverter. Um, as I said here, the uh, structure, I've upgraded the structure and it's a lot more sturdy, uh, similar to what I had on the other side. And as you can see, I also have a disconnect switch and it's, uh, you know, structurally grounded, um, you know, with the uh, number six gauge copper. I mean, I just grounded it to the structure. Um, everything else is connected to that structure. So um, that's that's enough. Uh, and so I also have a disconnect uh, just so that I can, you know, do maintenance on this array without taking down the entire uh, grid tie uh, network. So uh, as you can see here, uh, basically I, you know, dug a trench, I buried the cables uh, and the wire. Um, and it uh, kind of comes together on this main array um, and right at that outlet up there. And then it goes to that grid tie inverter. So, this grid time inverter, I have two grid, uh, panels at uh, attached here, and I have two panels attached to that one. So I'm pushing about with between these two arrays. I'm pushing, uh, you know, under normal. I'm sorry, standard uh, conditions, under ideal conditions, I should have uh, possibly um, uh, 900 watts. Okay, potentially, but we we all know that hey, everything's got to be perfect in order to get those 900 watts. But uh, but just for the sake of discussion, uh, these two arrays give me 900 watts, and uh, the array uh, on my roof gives me another 270 watts. So, with that, under you know potential possible con good conditions, I have over a kilowatt. But anyway, um, YouTube, is, you know you can do your, do this yourself as far as you know creating your own side of pole mount, and uh, one of the benefits of buying the the stuff online is the fact that you get all of the pieces as opposed to having to you know go back and forth to home depot or lowe's and kind of buying the pieces as you have to you know redesign it so but you know in any case you you know you can you can save a few bucks by doing it yourself uh, but you can save yourself a lot of headache if you want to just go ahead and buy it <laughs> online so again it's you know i built it it's sturdy it, it works it's fine i saved a couple of bucks uh but you know hey at the sacrifice of some headaches but um, anyway, it's a sturdy, it's a sturdy device and um, or, or mount, and so we're good to go. So, okay, YouTube, just an update. Um, again, when it comes to homemade panels, I mean they're great. I'm still going to use those panels uh, for you know portable applications and stuff like that. But you know when it comes down to it, you know panels are so cheap now. You just come out better buying a panel. Uh, but anyway, take care, YouTube.